Hello, welcome back to another video of Over the Wires Wargame Natus. So we're on Natus 7 right now, it's another cool challenge, hopefully not that simple as the ones before. Hopefully we'll be able to learn something here. Uh, what is this all about? Home and about. So of course, before we start hacking anything, let's just browse the application to see what it's all about. This is the front page. We'll click home and it says this is the front page. Uh, notice that the URL changed with a, with a parameter. This adds to the attack surface of the application. Uh, if you click about, the parameter changes and it says this is the about page. Huh. Okay. Uh, so, so obviously this seems pretty interesting. What about, so I can type home here. I can type, uh, what about, what about like index.php? Uh, renders a white page without any content. What about just index? Can I include myself? Ooh, error messages. Nice. Uh, does not reveal tremendously uh, a lot of information here, uh, but nevertheless, error messages are turned on and they could give us a clue about what might be interesting to look at here. So this looks like a type of vulnerability where we're just including files of the local file system here. So this page here is just including stuff from the file system. Can I, for example, type in slash etc password? Oh yeah, <laughs> uh, local file inclusion vulnerability for sure. We just included the Linux file containing all users on the system. No, if we're not running as root, we won't get the shadow file. It says permission denied. So definitely this vulnerability is quite interesting to look at. Uh, but w what type of file do you want to go for? I mean, if we're going to get to the next level, I mean, that's that's our challenge, right? We're not, we're not necessarily here to hack the servers. If we were here to hack the server, we could maybe look at configuration files of some sort. Uh, in this case, though, um, we're looking for the next level. Where do we need to include? Like, like could we maybe include something from the WW uh, folder, the var www folder? I don't know. So if this was not over the wire, this would probably include a lot of guesswork to figure out where we can include files. But let's take a look at source code. Source code does give us a nice little hint. The hint says, password for that user Natus 8, which is the one we need, is stored in the following file. Ha! Huh, how convenient. Nice of you over the wire. I do appreciate this because instead of having to guess, not learning a whole lot, we can now continue hopefully to the next level and we've learned what we need to learn about the vulnerability itself. We go to, uh, we try to include this page, are we on intercept? Uh, well, now we got the contents of that file. So this is going to be likely the password for the next level. Now some of you might be curious, ooh, like, can you get any file like this? What about Natus 9? It says no, permission denied. This server is actually locked down quite a bit. Uh, each level only has access to run and view those files it has been explicitly granted permissions to view. So we cannot cheat here. We can get the password for Natus 8. So this is called local file inclusion. There's also other ways of solving this. We could do a dot dot slash, and we could see what happens when we type in a dot dot slash. Dot dot slash just means go from a current directory and one level lower, like further up to the root of the file system. We could do a dot dot slash 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 at the C password, and we again include the contents of this password file. Cool. How many, how did I know how many data slashes I needed? I didn't know. I just went as far as I wanted to. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure you get all the way down to the root file system and then you can start navigating into the rest of the file system. For example, we wanted to go in into etc. Natus webpass, was it? Uh, let's uh, double check the source. Natus webpass like this. So let's make sure that this vulnerability uh, or this technique works. So we go all the way to the bottom, we go back up to etc into this folder, and we view the file called Natus8, giving us the password for the next level. Let's see if it works. Uh, open up Natus8 here, username Natus8, type in the password. Ooh, did not work. Did I have an extra, oh, an extra space in front of the uh, password, and there we go. So this is for the next video. I'll be going through this level as well. I hope to see you on the next video too. Getting progressively harder and harder, more interesting concepts and techniques. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.